Hey guys and welcome to another Easy Expired Domains video tutorial. In this video I'll be going through all the different filtering options for the different domains so that you can get the exact domains that you want first time every time. Okay, as with everything in Easy Expired Domains this really isn't going to be a very complicated video. It's not going to be lengthy or drawn out. Um, there are a few controls but once you've got the hang of one or two of them there really isn't that much more to choose. Um, to get the domains that you want first time every time. Okay, so um, all of these filters are applied pre-search. So if you know for a fact that you are only ever going to be interested in .com domains, you can uh, select just .com and then save. Uh, there are a huge amount of different domains to choose from. So um, me being based in the UK, I might want to choose just um, there we go, UK, uh, and I may want to then go into, for example, .co.uk, where are we, here we go, and I may want to go with them, but for this example, I'm going to limit just to .com, um, because realistically, they're going to be um, a good domain for almost any use, as people all over the world tend to see .com as a um, you know a trustworthy domain whether whether it's true or not people tend to see it that way so there inherently is some amount of value in a .com so I'm going to leave that selected as .com I'm going to show my um, yeah yeah I'm going to use cheese because I like cheese everybody else seems to like cheese so I'm going to do a search and normally when I, I've done a search with all of the five main international um, TLDs comes up with about 1500 domains so it'd be quite interesting to see how many domains it comes up with okay so that's been running for a few seconds I'd expect that to finish right about now there we go okay, a few seconds longer than I was expecting but again when the alternative is to wait hours and hours or even days or weeks for a, a search to complete you know an extra few seconds it's not too bad I'm quite happy with that okay so as with all of my tutorial videos everything's done exactly in real time I never cut anything down so the searches you see when they take two three seconds that's how long they've taken when they take 10 seconds or so as I did in this case that's how long it took but realistically 10 seconds in the grand scheme of things is not a huge amount of time so we can see from that uh, filter there we see that all of these domains dot com boom it's that simple really and you'll you'll notice a, a you know an ongoing trend with these filters that everything is a case of you know you you select what you want and that's exactly what it gives you okay so for my next search I'm gonna go back to all international domains I'm gonna clear this just so that every time we're starting from scratch See the search category here, this is based on the Majestic Topical Trust Flow. Um, if you're not sure what Topical Trust Flow is, that doesn't really matter because all it is is um, a designation of what um, Majestic believes a specific website is about. So for example, if you're looking for just arts and crafts websites, then you could do that and then put card. And then if you do a search, you'll see um, when it when it comes up you'll see that every domain will have the word card in them and they'll also be at least somewhat related to the arts and crafts niche so this may take a few seconds and when that's done we'll get the domain list and again this is all done in real time i'm not cutting anything out to make it uh, look like everything's going to come back in a flash i'm not interested in that i want to show you a very realistic representation of how the tool works so as I said, you know, every domain will have card in them, whether they're perfectly related to what you consider that keyword to be about is uh, not quite the same, but see like card money's M cardboard and the card making shop and things like that. And if we scroll across here, we've got Madge, which is majestic and TTF, which is topical trust flow. And you'll see that each one of these has at least some bearing on uh, arts and crafts. Okay, shopping and crafts, arts and crafts, and so on and so forth. So again, as with the TLD filter, it's just a case of you choose your category, 
and then click search and then every domain that it returns will have something to do with um, that that category you know at least in in some part um, uh, with regards to what majestic thinks so i'm going to delete all again start again with a new search and i'm going to go to the advanced filters and you can see that we can filter by uh, length whether whether the domain has hyphens in it whether the domain has numbers in it you know they're the the general filters that are based on the domain name itself so if you only want to find domains with a length of say five um, you can actually do a search without a keyword and what will happen is that it will only return short um, domains so here we go look it's found 10,000 domains that are five characters or less and we've allowed numbers and hyphens as well as uh, all international TLDs so as it's brought back 10,000 domains you could actually limit further say uh, .NET domains delete them all let's try again see how many that comes back so these are all .com domains that are five characters in length okay another 10,000 so you could actually get you know more and more specific with the the uh, stats that you're interested in so there's that I'm gonna drop that back up to 120 which is uh, about the maximum so it should allow any domains so if you're looking for domains that have a TF uh, a majestic trust flow of say 10 and you're not so interested in the um, delete these if you're not so interested in the specific niche or category that the domain is based on you just want um, at least decent quality domains you can set a majestic trust flow of 10 click search and this will bring back just com domains with a trust flow of 10 or more there we go you can see when um, when there's a lot of domains that fit the criteria the searches come back much quicker and again this is all happening in real time it's all one take i'm not um, cutting anything out of the sequence you won't see any disclaimers saying sequence is shortened or anything like that this is all in real time this is all genuine and exactly what you will expect to see when you're using the software so as i set the minimum trust flow to 10 you can see that yeah in ascending order we have the lowest majestic trust flow being 10. Okay, we just swap around and the highest it's found is 25. But as it's hit the, the domain cap, there may be um, domains with a higher trust flow than that. So what we can do is we can change the trust flow to 15, start again, and let's see what we get here. Again, this is all happening in real time. As it's taken a little bit longer, I'm going to assume this is not going to come back with 10,000 domains, but I would expect it to come back with at least hundreds. Ah, oh, well, always likes to prove me wrong. There we go. We have another 10,000 domains that are all TrustFlow 15 or above. Okay, as you can see, so simple and took literally a matter of seconds to do. Um, that's not to say if you were to enter in, you know, a domains, uh, sorry, keywords such as cheese as we used in the previous example and set your trust flow at 30, for example, you know, and hit search, you're not necessarily going to find, I haven't checked, there may be some domains, but you're unlikely to find any domains or at least as many domains because a trust flow above sort of 15 is, in my opinion, a very good domain. Um, especially since Majestic changed the way they uh, deal with trust flow in their algorithm and they actually lowered the values for almost all domains. Obviously the, the quality of the domains hadn't changed overnight, they just changed the algorithm. So that's that. Um, in this video I'm going to quickly go over what Majestic and Moz actually are. Now these are um, services that will, they're constantly crawling the internet. Now that's 
genuinely the internet. They're crawling all websites everywhere. They're making a note of the, the backlinks to and from different websites, the type of backlinks and the content on the pages and they're constantly analyzing, reanalyzing and, and they have algorithms much like the search engines where they determine the worth or the rank of a website. But instead of being a search engine where they display pages and their ranks, what they're actually going through is um, basically giving um, numerical values for the different websites. So something like the Majestic Citation Flow, which is CF, that is mainly a measure of how many backlinks um, and the uh, it doesn't take into consideration the spamminess of the the links and things like that so it's a good indicator of a site that has a lot of backlinks from different sources but not necessarily the quality of those uh, backlink sources now majestic trust flow does take into consideration the quality of the links coming in so if you can get a, a website with a, a trust flow of 10 or above this is vague numbers but if you can get a, a domain with a majestic trust flow of 10 or above then generally you're going to be looking at at least a, a domain of somewhat quality now you may want to check on the the backlink profile manually just to make sure that it's not full of spam uh, or anything like that or that you don't have tons of uh, site-wide links or any other things that may you know raise a couple of red flags um, but that's that you know trust flow it's not a an absolute indication of quality but it's a it's a good um sort of analogy to whether the the domain is going to be worth looking at at least okay with moz we have um a similar sort of thing they're, they're a similar service to majestic in that they go out they're constantly crawling the internet looking for um new content new backlinks and things like that and they're they're creating um, an overall idea of a domain or a website or web pages quality. Now, as with Majestic Citation Flow, the Moz Domain Authority, which is the DA, uh, takes into consideration quantity of backlinks and tries to factor in quality. Now, it's a bit easier to game and as such, it's not seen as a um, an absolute quality indicator where trust flow is slightly more sort of considered um, the domain authority is a good sort of uh, idea of whether a domain has some decent backlinks um, I, I wouldn't consider it as uh, valuable as trust flow but certain buyers do consider domain authority when they're buying the domain so you know it's not the be all and end all to have you know a domain with a really high domain authority but it's certainly not a bad thing to have one with a good domain authority um, page authority is less important as it's it doesn't give a quality indicator of the domain as overall but of um, sort of the home page so again it's good to have a high PA but it's not an absolute necessity okay with um, DA and PA I, I consider anything above sort of 15 or so to be um, very good again Moz links that's how many links that Moz as a service can see that are pointing to that domain um, Moz rank is where um, Moz thinks it, it uh, it's kind of hard to explain where Moz would consider a domain to sort of sit in the ranking so and it's on a, a 10 point scale so anything above sort of three or four is good but again it's not really um, taken into consideration by most buyers or sellers so it's nice to have a, a high number but it's not the end of the world if it if it doesn't um, Moz trust and spam are sort of quite basic ideas of where they stand on the scale of um, reliability but ultimately um, unless you're deep into the domaining game and you're building lots of PBNs um, you're unlikely to really need to worry about those so much and if you are needing to worry about them then you're probably a bit more familiar with those stats than than myself but ultimately all of these stats the majestic and the moz stats they are explained on the the um, 
respective websites. So if you want to know about any um, Majestic website, uh, sorry, Majestic stat, then by all means go to majestic.com and read up on it. If you want to do the same for the Moz stats, go to moz.com and you can read all about it there. Um, so there we have it. It's all it's all right there for you to use. As you can see, searches will complete within you know 10, 15 seconds at worst, within a couple of seconds at most, at best, sorry. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, you can post them in the comments section or you can send in a support ticket. If you um, need to divulge any personal information, then you can do it by the support ticket that's all private. Uh, that's available in the members area. So you can go to the Easy Expired Domains website and click through to the, the members dashboard there to send a question. Uh, if you want to be notified about any other videos that we're going to be doing on Easy Expired Domains, then feel free to click the subscribe button and if you want to be notified click the, the little bell symbol otherwise you won't get it. Um, there's no pressure to do that, I don't earn anything from YouTube, the, these are entirely um, to guide you through the software. Okay, so yeah if you like what you see and you've got some questions or even some feature requests, anything like that, feel free to get in touch and uh, yeah I hope to hear from you soon. Okay, cheers.